PGA golfer Tony Finau came from humble beginning. He's the third of nine children. And while his family didn't have much money growing up, Tony, his dad, and brother managed to teach themselves how to play from scratch. Now, I'm a golfer. That's, that's challenging. Mm -hmm. Tony even passed on a basketball scholarship because he believed he was better at golf. Call it Wong had a chance to talk with Tony, and here's what he had to say. Tony Finau, it's a real pleasure to have you on with us. How are you doing and how are you handling all this new normal, what with the pandemic? Yeah, well, thanks. First of all, thanks for having me on. This is fantastic. Um, it seems like these days, uh, virtual <laughs> virtual ways of speaking are, are, are the best way to go. So um, <laughs> I'm happy to I'm happy to be on here. Uh, as far as just uh, dealing with the new normal, I, you know, I think just like everybody else, I'm uh, just, you know, just adjusted throughout the year of 2020 and, you know, adjusting to wearing a mask and, um, you know, social distancing and all those different protocols that we've had throughout our country. But, uh, you know, life has been different. It's been different not having fans out on the golf course and, and performing in front of uh, not so many people. But uh, I've been I've embraced it. You know, I took a couple months to to settle in, but I've embraced it and um, and just know that that's how it has to be for a little while. Okay, Tony, tell us a little bit more about yourself. I know you come from humble beginnings. So how did golf come into your life? Yeah, I came from very humble beginnings. Um, I'm the third of nine children. So my parents had um, quite a big family to feed and take care of. So, um, you know, as you would expect, you know, came from a, um, you know, staying in the same room with my brothers. Uh, we was five of us in one room and, and just, that's all I knew, you know, growing up, but very humble beginnings. and um didn't have the real finance to support a golf career but you know uh, we grew up pretty close to a little par three golf course in salt lake city and uh, my brother started to play and, and be interested in golf at a really young age and and we're only 11 months apart so we're really close in age so i i figured you know why don't i, I should give it a try as well you know he was getting quite good pretty early and pretty fast and, and so i started to play and my dad taught us how to play from really from nothing you know he didn't know he didn't know how to play. So I like saying we learned how to play golf from scratch, <laughs> but uh, you know, that's how it was. I competed with my brother and, um, and I don't know if we knew if we were any good, but we were winning local tournaments in Utah. And, and then when I was 12 years old, it was quite cool. I, I won a tournament called junior world, um, which is a tournament that Tiger, Tiger Woods won and Phil Mickelson. And a lot of these guys uh, that I was watching on TV at the time, um, I had seen my name on the same trophy as theirs and, and, and I figured if they could do it, you know, why can't I? So that's kind of when everything changed for me. I was at 12 years old. That's incredible. But you had a chance to go to college on a basketball scholarship, I believe, but you decided to turn pro instead and play golf. Why did you decide to give up the college basketball scholarship and was it a tough decision? No, it was an easy decision. I was a lot better at golf than basketball. <laughs> uh, I will say basketball is, <laughs> I will say basketball was my first love, no question in sports. Uh, I played basketball before I played golf and I fell in love with playing basketball. But, um, you know, I, I learned to love golf and, and the passion I had for golf was a lot higher by the time I was um, in my in my teen years. And and then I was just a lot better at it. I was winning, you know, golf tournaments and and that's always exciting for a kid. So. I knew I was going to pursue golf uh, once again, about 12, 13 years old. I knew I was going to pursue golf. Um, it was cool to get scholarships to play basketball, but uh, I knew that's not what I wanted to do with my life. And, and so I continued to pursue golf. And, um, you know, I think, uh, I think I chose the right sport. <laughs> now you've been brilliant. You've come so far so quickly, but were you ever skeptical about playing golf as a living? Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say skeptical, but I, you know, through those six years on the mini tours, I really had to dig deep and, and keep, um, keep trying to keep myself afloat and keep believing in myself um, that I can, I can make something out of myself and, and my career in golf. You know, I had turned pro at a young age and, uh, you know, I had a lot of, a lot of people tell us the wrong thing at the time. Um, you know, I would never make it. And, um, you know, maybe find something else to do, you know, as years went on, but, uh, you have to keep believing in yourself. And, and I had a great support system. I had parents that believed in me and, 
and a lot of people that told me to just to keep doing it. And, and I believe that I would eventually be somebody. Um, so, you know, I don't think uh, I ever shied away from, um, from golf, but I definitely had to dig deep uh, within myself and, um, and keep believing that I eventually this golf thing was going to work out for me. And um, it was extremely tough during those times, finance, finance, finance wise and, um, and, and game wise, but I was able to break through eventually. And, um, and here I, here I am today.